Hello, my name is Aaron Sutherland and I am a SUSE certified instructor. And today in this video, we are going to talk about command line skills, specifically Bash Basics. Bash is the default shell for most Linux distributions. It is the most commonly used shell. And some things to know about Bash. When we open up a terminal emulator, such as what you see on my screen here, by default, we are getting a Bash shell. There are many different shells available, and you can install them as you need, but we're going to be looking just at Bash. The first thing to point out about Bash is the Bash prompt. It tells us that our username is tux and it tells us our host name now this machine hasn't been renamed it's just called localhost and then after that it shows us where we are currently at in our file system the tilde represents my home folder and we can see that by typing in the pwd command it shows me i'm in slash home slash tux now whenever i change to a different location my prompt will change to show me the name of the folder that I am currently in. So here you can see I've gone into the downloads directory and my prompt has changed to show me that I am in the downloads directory in my home folder. If I were to become a different user then my prompt will change to reflect that. So let's change to new user 1 type in their password and now you can see that my prompt has changed to show that I am now logged in as new user 1. If I log out as new user 1 it changes my prompt back to my username which is Tux. Another important thing to know about the Bash shell is running commands. Now in the last couple of videos you saw me use some commands. Let's talk about the different parts of a command. A command has three different parts. There is the command itself, followed by options, and then arguments. So the command is the command itself. That's the command that we're going to run to accomplish something in our shell. Options are generally switches that change either the behavior of the command or the output of the command. And the arguments are, what are we doing this to? Such as a file name or a folder or even a user. Let's take a look at a couple of commands along with their options and arguments. We'll start with the ls command. The ls command will simply list the contents of the directory that we are in. That's the default behavior. Now the ls command comes with many different options that we can use to change the output of the command. So if we use the dash dash help, you can see that we've got lots of different switches here. I won't cover all the different switches, but really I just wanted to show you how to find them. So ls dash, let's start with just ls. Now ls dash l. You can see that the dash L, which stands for long listing, changed the output of our command. Now we can see permissions on the different directories here, ownership on the different directories, the size, if there were files here, it would show me the size, and the date or the timestamp for the file. Now we have lot again, we have lots of different options for the ls command, so ls dash lh. And that's going to show me sizes in human readable format. Everything in here is zero size, so we'll find a different file. So there's new file. Now, again, we do have lots of different switches. So ls-lr for recursive, capital R. And this will show me all the different directories with the contents of those directories. Now the final part of our command is the argument. 
That is us naming something specific that we want to run the command against. So let's do an ls here. Now let's do an ls on downloads. We don't have anything in there, so let's move new file to downloads, and then let's run our previous command again, ls on downloads. Now you can see that we have a file in the downloads folder. ls-l on downloads, and there we go. There are lots of commands that support all sorts of different options and arguments, like the user add command that we used in the last video. So to do that, sudo user add, that's the command, dash m is the option for the command, and then the argument for the command would be the user account, or the name of the user account that we are trying to create. So new user 2. Type in our password. The user's been at it. Another example would be the password command. So the command itself and then the argument. And then it prompts me for a password. Now, there are lots of different things that we could talk about in Bash, like how you can change the prompt or tons of other topics. But we're just going to keep it at this for today, just nice and short and simple. And you can learn about this and many other topics that we have courses on at our e-learning site at the URL that you see here on the screen. Thank you for watching and have a great day.